watching Chicago's very own WGN News with Larry Potash, Robin Baumgarten, Paul Conrad with weather, Aaron McElroy with traffic, Pat Tomasulo with sports, and Dean Richards with entertainment. This is WGN Morning News at 6. joins us from Rockford as the team heads for Florida. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Frank and Aaron. That team is off. They have left the frigid cold of DeKalb, Illinois, headed for the warmth of Miami, Florida. The team arrived here just before 6.30 this morning on four NIU buses, unloaded, walked straight into the international terminal, checked in, and boarded the plane. No fans, no big send-off, just a few of us media types. That's it. Now, some sports analysts have compared this Huskies team to Rodney Dangerfield, saying it gets no respect despite winning 12 games in a row and a second straight MAC championship. In fact, it was a double overtime win over Kent State that earned them a ticket to the Orange Bowl to face number 12 Florida State on New Year's Day. It's the Huskies' first ever BCS Bowl game. The team is well aware of the sports pundits who have said they don't deserve to play in it. In fact, they have used it as their rallying cry to get pumped up for it. Whether they say we don't deserve to be there or we do deserve to be there, we're here, so, you know, we're going to take advantage of it. It's the Orange Bowl, you know, there's not much else needs to be said. You know, we're all excited to be, go down there. If you look at this thing, Orange Bowl-wise, it's probably too big to tackle if you look at it from a big scope. But if you just do what you do and you do the details and you dot all the I's and cross all the T's, like we've been doing all year, we'll be just fine. Yeah, the team didn't want to make its star quarterback, Jordan Lynch, available to the media. They said they wanted to give him a rest. So, game day. New Year's Day. That's next Tuesday, January 1st. Reporting live from Rockford, Tanya Francisco, WGN News.